This is the second flight in the Malcolm Edwards series. Uh, the first one being the Squirrel Blue and Silver, which again he would fish up until around July. Uh, and then after that he would move on to the pattern I'm going to show you now, which is a, a Squirrel, Orange and Gold. Uh, and this pattern would then carry him through to the end of the season. Uh, again, he would fish two flies, and both flies being the same, same length, uh, on the same cast, and they would usually be tied on an inch and three quarter Waddington shank. I'm tying them on a 35 mil um, intruder shank, just because then uh, I prefer, again, just having the movement of the back end for the hook, rather than the levering effect, which can sometimes happen if you attach the hook directly onto these shanks. So, uh, black thread, 10-0 in Vivas. Just gonna attach the thread here. Take the thread down towards the back end of that shank, like so. And then we're gonna attach, I've got some uh, Senyo uh, intruder wire. Uh, that's the pack in black, uh, sorry, in blue. I'm actually using the black one here. And then I've got some uh, Partridge Patriot intruder hooks in size 2, which match matches up quite well with the 35mm shank which I've got here. So I take that hook up, measure it so it just ends just after the shank. I don't want it uh, protruding too far back, literally just the end of the shank there. When you're happy, take your thread up and over. Like so. Just push that hook down into the vise, less chance of stabbing yourself with it. Take a thread up the shank, like so. Then pass those two tag ends of the wire in through the eye. This part's really important. You know, taking it in through the eye stops that wire from pulling out. Uh, and then doubling it back underneath basically evens out the body so when you're working with the silver uh, sorry the gold body after you've got a nice even body to tie over so take that down underneath all the way back down and then look for a cutting off point just where you started that thread base so snip them off be careful when you tie over them because what does happen you've got some pretty sharp ends on that wire and it can cut the thread just be careful. Bring your thread back up. The so body on this one is gold. I've just got some uh, some tinsel here. One side's gold, one side's silver. Medium or wide would be perfect. Snip off a length of that. Then I've got some uh, gold oval tinsel. You can use gold wire if that's what you've got. That'll be fine. It's going to marry the two sections up, like so, and then introduce them in together. Just tie them down together because what you're then going to do is create a really flat, uniform body so you're not going to get any lumps and bumps as you bring the, the tinsel back up. A little bit of care at this point just creates a much neater fly. So I take this tinsel up, again in touching turns, keep that tinsel nice and tight as you're bringing it up. Go as careful as you can not to exp <clears throat> me, expose the thread base underneath. If it does show through, it's not detrimental to the fly or the fishing, it's just a, a visual aspect, just like so. Tight over, a couple of securing turns, and then double that back so it's not going to go anywhere. And snip off the excess. Next thing is bringing the oval tinsel up and bring that up in the opposite direction, which is then going to act as a securing measure for that body. So if the fish's teeth start biting into the um, into the tinsel. It's not going to just fray all the way up the, the body. Try and take those turns up in equal turns, like so. And then 
secure off at the same point that you secured the, the tinsel and then just do the same thing just take your thread up and over double it back snip off so there's the body done so the wing as per his early season wing uh, early season fly is a two part wing uh, so the first part is orange squirrel and it's um, dyed uh, grey squirrel dyed orange rather than um, bleach and dyed so you actually want the barring and stuff that exists so first things first take a, a decent pinch of this this is going to be rolled around the hook uh, sorry the shank as per um, the early season version so what we're going to do is just take out some of the under fur it's just going to add a necessary bulk and it's going to be tied you know what I would refer to as a, a willy gun style which again is just all the way around the shank so rather than uh, you know a false hackle on a main wing which is probably how I would tie it myself but you know Malcolm had more than enough big fish to his uh, to his name that I am not one to, to question him and it's his patent so I'm going to respect that so when you bring this up bring it up and then when you're happy just roll it before taking your thread roll it start rolling it around the shank because you want a nice even coverage all the way around so try not to bunch it in one section before you take any locking turns just make sure you've got a nice even coverage I'm happy with that when you have then bring in your locking turns like so happy with that good coverage all the way around so you then have a cloaking wing which is the natural squirrel so the natural squirrel comes up and over this orange squirrel so it's got some natural squirrel and you want the longer fiber so if you go up towards the the tip of the, the the tail you'll have some much longer fibers up there if you remember see he was using inch and three quarter shanks which is quite a long shank really um, so to get fibers that are protruding back far enough you definitely have to go to the top end of the tail to, to, to get those so take out you know pick out a, a decent bunch like so. so take out a decent bunch again just strip out a lot of that shorter and finer underfoot you don't need that it's just going to add a necessary bulk then when you're happy we're going to do the same thing which is just rolling rolling that wing around the shank and again you it wants to be longer than that base wing so we're going to bring it up and start rolling it around before we secure just take a couple of loose turns so it doesn't just fly off when you're manipulating it and then just work it around now yeah the the ray doll is very close to the dovey and uh, black uh, sorry the dovey black and orange obviously a very famous fly up there which I believe has a gold body as well so um, you know not too dissimilar obviously more black in the black and orange but obviously killing patterns in that part of the world and, and, and why not so there you go happy with that distribution now when you are then you come in with those tight locking turns when you've done that, before tidying up the head, we have to snip off a lot of the um, the butt fibres. When you've tidied that up as much as you can, next thing to do is just to tidy up, tie over those butt sections. If your thread starts splitting like it is now, just spin it into a rope. And just take your thread over, just tidy up, take a bit of time just to get over as much of those butt sections as you can just to leave a nice neat head like so so all that's left to do whip finish and again with squirrel squirrel can does have a habit of pulling out especially if your thread isn't very well waxed so at this point I would always recommend putting a good dab of super glue just to bind yeah soak into the thread and bind with the squirrel wing snip off so that is yeah, Malcolm Edwards' uh, late season 
pattern which is the um, squirrel orange and gold hope you enjoyed that and I uh, hope it inspires you to tie a few up and take them on the river next time you're out I hope they bring you luck tight lines <laughs>